Well, people are still raving about Lady Gaga's stunning tribute to the classic movie The Sound of Music at the Academy Awards. The performance was a celebration of the movie's 50th anniversary, but there's much more to this popular musical than meets the eye. In his book, The Sound of Music Story, author Tom Sanapietro pulls back the curtain to reveal some interesting behind-the-scenes stories from casting to the real life and trapped family. This is Tom's fourth book, and we are excited to have you here on CT Style. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. So how'd you catch the bug? How did you get into The Sound of the Music, Tom? Well, it was, uh, I still remember very clearly seeing the movie for the first time at the Hamden Cinema reserved seats and uh, I just fell in love with the movie and with Julie Andrews which most of the world did at that time. And why do you think that is? Why do people love this movie? Well, I think, you know, it has all that great music. Everybody knows it's the true. songs. It's true. Catchy tunes. Catchy that tunes. you learn at, at birth, pretty e much. <laughs> Everybody knows. Uh, great star in, in her def career defining role. But most of all, it's because it's about family. And that's universal. And it's why the film has been a phenomenon around the world. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask you, what was your um, reaction to Lady Gaga at the Oscars? I thought she was great. She was awesome. She Wasn't was awesome. it so good? I mean, it was like the only thing people were talking about. Yeah, nobody talked the next day about Birdman being best picture. They all talked about Lady Gaga and the sound of music. Right. And it was because she sounded great, but you could tell she loved the music. It was mm -hmm. very sincere. And when she, she brought out Julie Andrews, it was the perfect capper to, this, to the sequence. Yeah, um, and she was even impressed with it, right? I, I, Julie Andrews was definitely impressed you with it. Tell. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and big name celebrities are, are saying how much they love this movie. Yeah. Right. It's, it's catchy. It, and, and it has a big celebrity fan base, which is one of the things I talk about in the book. Mm -hmm. Gwen Stefani loves it. Obviously, Lady Gaga does. And most famously, uh, then-President Ronald Reagan. Is that right? Yes. And he, we were hosting the United States a G7 Economic Summit. They prepared a briefing book for Reagan. They went in the next day. The chief of staff realized Reagan hadn't even looked at the book. He hadn't <laughs> cracked the book. And he said, Mr. President, you didn't look at this book. And Ronald Reagan said, Jim, how could I have done that? The Sound of Music was on TV last night. Wow, there you have it, right? <laughs> he wasn't compromising there. So we know it's a classic in the United States. What is it like overseas? Oh, it's a, it's a phenomenon everywhere around the world. Mm -hmm. And when the film was first released, it was so popular in the Philippines, they had to call out riot police because people were oh so gosh. desperate to get tickets. And they translated it, I, I would assume. Yes, yeah. well, there were subtitles and mm -hmm. dubbed in some, some languages. Oh. And it, again, it's this family business because everybody relates to that. That's true. So let's talk about casting. Was there any sort of question who would play what role? Oh, a lot of questions. Uh, Julie Andrews was a big question mark because she had shot Mary Poppins. It hadn't been released. Uh -huh. So they thought, oh, we don't know if she'll look good on film, if you can believe that. So they talked about Grace Kelly, who was then Princess Grace, and she was otherwise occupied. Sure. They talked about Doris Day, who said, I'm so all-American, nobody's going to believe me as a nun from Austria. And uh, so uh, the director, Robert Wise, called up Walt Disney and said, I know you shot Mary Poppins. Can I look at some of the footage? Uh, they were going to look at a half an hour. And after five minutes, he turned and said, let's go sign her up now before somebody gets her. And that was how Julie Andrews was cast. Wow, and I wonder if it would have been so popular if she wasn't involved in it. No, she was the perfect actress for because she's like that. She is that sort of mm -hmm. uh, nurturing, uh, uh, good time person who you, she's like the girl next door. Yeah, and it worked out great. Uh, Christopher Plummer played Captain George. Uh, and he was a little reluctant to take the part originally. Oh, you're saying that nicely. He was really reluctant. He didn't to want take, it at all. He didn't want it. He felt he had. Uh, he wasn't known on film, but he was a Shakespearean actor. And he said, "If this I do, he thought this was below him." Absolutely. And he thought oh. this is going to ruin my image as a serious actor. And uh, Robert Wise, the director, uh, kind of had to talk him into it. Interesting. And of course, 50 years later, uh, you know. Christopher Plummer, everybody thinks of him as he's the captain. Right. Yeah. Um, and I feel like at Christmas time, we always watch The Sound of Music. It's always on TV. It's, it's turned into a, a family tradition. Yeah, absolutely. And it's passed from generation to generation. And Christopher Plummer said something really nice, which is he's, of course, come to terms with the film and that he watched it most recently at a children's birthday party. <laughs> and he saw the kids just loving it, just what you're saying, generation to generation. And he said, all of a sudden, I was overcome with pride at being a part of it. Mm -hmm. I actually even enjoyed the Carrie Underwood rendition mm -hmm. of it. Did you catch that when they did. did it all live? Right, they did it all live. And I thought she sang it really well. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's not a trained actress. She's not Julie Andrews. Right. but. 
took a lot of courage and good for her. And it's, it's such a, a fun story, and everyone can relate to the music, and they want to sing along. I think that has something to do with it. Right. Um, so where can we find your book, Tom? Uh, it's everywhere. It's in uh, bookstores, uh, the ch big chains, independent bookstores, and online, Amazon. So, pretty much uh, everywhere. Pretty much everywhere. And if you like the sound of music, you'll like the book. Very good. Well, we've enjoyed having you here on Style today. Thank Thanks you so much. much. Where Thank do you have you. a website or where we can find more info? I uh, do. TomSantoPietro.com. I was saying it wrong. Santo yeah. Pietro? Santo Pietro. Oh, yeah. very yeah. good. And uh, it has a lot of information about the book there. Very good. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much.